Black holes are rapidly lost hair and bald fast. A complex simulation now explains how black holes lose their magnetic field to fulfill the no-hair theory. The no-hair theorem describes the view of the universe described by American theoretical physicist John Archibald Wheeler in the 1960s, explained that the black hole created out of matter and another black hole created out of antimatter may have identical properties but, according to the hypothesis, they would be unrecognizable to an observer at the event horizon. Stationary black holes are fully defined by three basic observable quantities, mass, charge, and angular momentum which fulfills Einstein's theory of general relativity. Almost none of the data is accessible from the outside about what was consumed by the black hole. According to physicist John Archibald Wheeler, black holes have no hair or any complex attributes, so that everything about them can be derived from a simple, generic equations. Stephen Hawking came up with his theory of Hawking radiation. The way this theory works is that every black hole releases a kind of quantum particle over the time, which is just another term for leaking mass. Black holes dissolve and vanish entirely as predicted by Hawking radiation theory. According to Harvard University professor Strominger, the initial idea suggested that black holes, which create vast spaces, would be identical to one another and therefore unable to store information about the things they originated from. A black hole formed from a magnetized star has a magnetic field when it's born. Scientists have found that black holes may be hairier than previously thought, and that they may retain a magnetic field, one of their hairs, for longer than was originally anticipated. Black holes may either be born with magnetic fields or gain them by eating magnetized material. If we start with a black hole and keep it isolated, no matter what it looks like, we'll always have a bald black hole. This is because in those circumstances, the magnetic field that appears on the event horizon will get immediately returned to us, as if it had fallen in the sink. The simulation performed by Columbia University researcher Ashley James Bransgrove, who included both collisionless and collisional plasmas, features a magnetic field surrounding a black hole. The magnetic field lines disconnect, reunite, and then form plasma-filled magnetic loops that escape into space or plunge into the black hole. In order to satisfy the no-hair theorem, one has to speed up reconnection rates, which causes magnetic fields to decrease quicker. Scientists have created simulations that predict black holes have magnetic loops of plasma fueling these magnetic reconnections that cause powerful X-rays. But these plasma loops are still undetected, making scientists question whether magnetic reconnection is the true culprit behind X-rays. Using X-rays, which will be able to detect in the heated plasma around the largest black holes, we may see if this method takes place and so one can validate the validity of the no-hair theorem in its description of the actual universe. Thank you for taking the time to watch. In order to show your support for this video, please click on the like button. To view future videos, click on the subscribe button. And if you have anything to say, please leave a comment.